Loida from loveacrylicpainting.com and today I'm going to be doing a video about storage supplies for acrylic pouring and I'm going to be showing you what things I use to store all of these supplies that I have right now on my desk. As you can see um, I have plenty of items well you really can't see all of them because some are hiding you know on that area on that spot but they are pretty heavy um, and it's kind of difficult to be carrying you know item by item upstairs because this is my work area I don't actually have like a designated room to do my painting so I have to do them in my kitchen where there's tile floor um, I don't want to do them upstairs where there's carpet I don't want to mess my carpet in case I spill some paint so I have to do it here so I'm just gonna show you how I store my stuff that way I kind of keep them separated and they're easy like to move upstairs and downstairs whenever I need to work on a project so let me show you let me bring what I have Okay, so these are the first two items um, that I want to show you. Um, I'll put the links to all these items as well as always below the description of the video. That way you know where to get them in case you need them. So um, this I use for my kind of bigger items, you know, maybe like my bigger paints like this that won't fit in a smaller bin um, but I don't want a huge huge bin uh, because you know I don't have those many paints um, so I just put like the bigger jugs in there those fit perfectly in there that one fits well and then obviously the small ones fit in there as well so this one I mostly try to use to store all my paints um, and then I try to store the rest of the things in other bins actually here I also put these which are my glitter thingies so stacking these one on top of each other just helps me save some space inside dang it I'm dropping all of my glitter I forgot to close it uh oh okay well that just helps me put that glitter in there so as you can see I have paints I have glitter in there I can put also this other diamond dust in there this is another paint and I have plenty of space in there I can also put my markers actually these I use them somewhere else because they're smaller items so this is mostly for paints, glitter, um, you know, those kind of things. So that's the first item. It has a nice lid. You can close it and then a handle to carry it. The next item that I have is this other um, nice carrying little case, which is like a double stacked case. So it has a, a lid on the top, but you can also unlock sorry, these areas, and there's another area down there for storage. And so this one I like because it has nicer, smaller areas for storage for my smaller items, but I have two of these so I can separate them depending on you know um, how I want to separate them and it's just one case that you can carry along so here I just store like my spatula my brushes um, more brushes my markers I put them in there like my uh, this is the um, sanding paper I also put that in there I can put the push pins so it's really nice to have all of that in there that that space is an area where I don't put anything that's gonna drip um, I can even put like my my level in there 
So, you know, it, it fits all really well, and there's still plenty of space in there. Um, I have another of these that I can put in there. And then on the bottom, I put my additives. And I, I could actually put my additives in the paint section, in the paint bin, just because if, um, I don't know if these might drip <clears throat> when they are put in a horizontal position. Um, but so far, like these have not leaked on me. If they do leak on you, you might just want to put them in the other bin. But um, I can just separate those from the rest of the items that I have. I can even put maybe like my cups in there. Actually, my cup. Yeah, I can. I can even put my cups in there. I can put my wood sticks. So um, let's see what else I can put in there. I have my canvas pan panels, my wood, all of these items. I can easily put them in here as well if I don't have any other place to store them. And then I can just close everything up. And I can carry it and I have everything in there. Mixing stuff, stuff to add details, brushes, additives, um, even some of my canvas panels in there, uh, sanding paper, etc. Now for my bigger items, I just use a bigger bin. So this is just a bigger bin. And I'll put a link in the description below so you know what size this is. But um, I use this just for my varnish, my big items, my heat gun, the floor trawl, even, even my, my watercolor papers, and my canvas. So I need to arrange this in a way that I can fit them all in. So But there we go. Everything fit perfectly. I was even able to put all of this, you know, this huge stack of canvas in that box. And these big water coloring pads. Um, these, and again, I just put my cover on it. It is gonna be, this is gonna be the heaviest one, but um, it's still pretty manageable to carry upstairs and downstairs without the other ones, because I can take the other ones separately. And these, so these, I don't put them away because most of the time I'm going to be using them. Most of the time they're going to have some sort of painting on top, or I'm going to be, you know, using it to catch the paint drip. So these, I just kind of have like a specific area where I put them whenever I'm working or whenever I just want things to dry. And I have these other two, which I can just stack like that. And everything is nice and neatly organized. And this plastic cover, I can just fold it also and put it in there, stick it in there. And I have everything nice and neatly organized. And it's easier to carry these upstairs and downstairs whenever I need to work on a project and then just you know take out the stuff that I actually need um, without having to run upstairs and because I forgot something you know I didn't bring down everything that I needed so I have everything here and then I can just take out whatever I need for that specific project so that's it for today I hope that these organization tips that these storage items will help you to just keep everything organized for your projects and just make your life a little bit easier. 
So before you leave, just make sure you subscribe. Also click on the bell icon that is below the video. That way you can get notifications whenever I upload a new tutorial video. That way you're up to date and you can start creating your own projects. Also make sure that you share. If you liked this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And also make sure that you check the links in the description below. I always put links to the items that I review or that I use in my projects so that way you know where to get them easily and, and I also have a link to a cheat sheet it's a free cheat sheet for beginners so until next video happy pouring with sparkles and all